Hello and welcome to Digit and in this video I'm going to tell you how to boost network on your HP Pavilion gaming laptop. The model number is 15-TK2075TX. Now let me tell you a little bit about the specs of this machine. So this HP Pavilion laptop uh, is powered by an Intel Core i7-11370H processor. So it's an 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor and that processor ha is paired with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. So it's a pretty good, powerful combination of processor and graphics card. Uh, it has a, it has 16 GB of DDR4 RAM and 500 GB, 512 GB SSD inside it, okay. Uh, the display that you can see over here is a 15.6 inch full HD IPS display with 144 Hertz of refresh rate. Now, coming to the, to boosting the network. So actually, there's an app, if you see right down here, this, this orange icon, this is the Omen Gaming Hub. So if you don't have this in the laptop, you can actually download it. And what you need to do is you need to go into the Omen Gaming Hub. Now, the first time you actually use this, it'll give you an option to sign in and set up a profile, which you can go ahead and do. Once you do that, it'll unlock a whole bunch of things like rewards. You can keep track of your games and stuff. But to actually uh, monitor the laptop, you need to go here at the bottom where it says Pavilion Gaming 15. So when I click on that, you can see the two tabs open up. The first are your system vitals. So it'll, you can actually toggle between uh, temperatures in centigrades, or you can also choose Fahrenheit if you want. I'm going to keep it on centigrade and uh, it'll tell you your GPU utilization is currently inactive, your CPU utilization. So you can see 20% temperature 60 around the 60 mark and your memory utilization. So you can see 53% of my memory is already being used. Uh, and also the bottom, this is what's the interesting part. So it gives you uh, what my bandwidth is, upload and download. So my download currently is 11.8 Mbps. I'm on Wi-Fi in my office and my upload is 0.38 Mbps. Now, in order to boost network and to sort of get the best out of your internet, you need to go to the second tab called Network Booster. So once you click on Network Booster, you can see there are three different modes. So this mode is currently off. This, you can choose to set this off. Uh, and it says total bandwidth usage, usage of course, 0%. There's a mode called Auto. Now what Auto does is it automatically prioritizes the foreground app to high and all other apps to low. So what will happen is whatever you're running in the foreground, whether it's a game or whether you're say watching a movie or whatever you're, you might be doing, you watching YouTube or doing any social media, whatever app is running in the foreground will automatically get prioritized to high. So it'll get high bandwidth allocation. So all of your internet is gonna go, your network is gonna go there. And what other, whatever other apps you might be running on the laptop will, uh, that are, might be running in the background, they'll get automatically switched to low priority. So they'll take suck up less internet. Uh, if you want to really play around with things, you can go to custom. Now in custom, as you can see, the minute I've selected custom, these are all the apps and I can actually choose a priority. I can choose low, high or medium for all the different apps. And you can do this for every single app in here. You can even block apps that you don't want running at any time. So this is where you can actually go to actually set priority, app wise priority, uh, on your internet bandwidth. And this is how you sort of, by doing this, you'll actually, you can actually choose, let's say you're running a game, say you're playing Fortnite or Valorant, you want that to be getting high priority. You want that to be getting all of your internet, right? So you get better ping. The other thing in here is that there's an option called dual force. So dual force, what it does is, it enables ethernet and Wi-Fi at the same time. So currently I'm on Wi-Fi, but I would recommend if you're a gamer, don't play on Wi-Fi, please get an ethernet cable and plug it in and play off the ethernet. You will get better speeds. So, uh, but this can actually, you, it actually enables it at the same time. And right now it's off, of course. So, so that's, so basically this is the tab which you need to go in and you can actually set priority and bandwidth priorities for your apps. And that's how you actually can boost the network that you have. So there you are folks. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.